Introducing Botafogo's goalie extraordinaire, Lucas Perry. The international player took a shot straight at Lucas, and for a brief moment it seemed like he had it all under control. But then a hilarious twist of fate unfolded. That's what you call goalkeeper's amnesia, when the ball is right under your nose but you still can't see it. In a blink and you'll miss it moment, the opponent capitalized on Perry's ball gazing confusion and effortlessly sent it into Botafogo's net. Lucas, buddy, you were so close, yet so far. Consider wearing glasses on the field, or at least a pair of binoculars next time. In the last video, Presnel Kimpembe demonstrated the golden rule of football, never give up. A Nigerian football player, Fancho Bamboy, is following in his noble footsteps. After a push from an opponent, poor Fancho lost his shorts. But fear not guys, he didn't let it cramp his style. Realizing the ref didn't whistle the fall, he bravely continued the play in his undies, showing off his true assets on the field. Talk about dedication. Once the moment was over, he casually pulled his shorts back up like a true gentleman. Fancho took stripping the ball to a whole new level. Cristiano Ronaldo once witnessed a miraculous recovery on the field. You have probably heard of the Saudi player Ali al bulaihi the ultimate football provocateur. He has poked at Messi, Suarez, Son and of course, Ronaldo himself. So Cristiano decided to play along and give Ali a taste of his own medicine. During one intense moment in the game, the Saudi guy dramatically fell on the ground clutching his leg in agony. After a mere 10 seconds of theatrical suffering, Ali miraculously jumped back to his feet, as if he had just remembered he left the stomach at home. This performance didn't pass Ronaldo by unnoticed. He strolled over Al Bulaihi and started a round of applause right in his face, giving him a standing ovation for his Oscar-worthy acting skills. Looks like Ali Al Bulaihi should consider a career change into Hollywood. You probably heard of Dumb and Dumber, right? The first part came out in 1994, the second in 2014, and the third just recently, in 2024. In this epic saga, the Sydney forward and Central Coast Mariners goalkeeper took center stage. First, the home team's keeper got the ball, then lost it faster than you can say on goal, handing it to the other team on a silver platter. Sydney's player, Patrick Wood, just had to score into the empty net, but he managed to miss from practically a kissing distance. Can you imagine the goalie's relief? He messed up, sure, but Patrick's miss made it look like he was the smartest guy on the field. Patrick really proved himself to be wooden, with that play matching with his last name. Being a fan of today's Chelsea team is like going on a roller coaster ride where you might end up with motion sickness and sore neck. I mean, just look at the antics of these players. In a blink of an eye, they managed to serve up a comedy of errors that would make even your grandma chuckle. First, we had the 100 million pound Caicedo, who missed the ball like it was his ex's phone call. Then, the evergreen Thiago Silva decided to give the ball a little cuddle instead of booting it away. And last but not least, we have Benoit Bodiachil, who had a golden opportunity to be the hero, but ended up starring in his own blooper reel. I mean, seriously, Benoit, were you trying to audition for a slapstick comedy? And to cap it all off, Callum Wilson swoops in to score, probably wondering if he accidentally stumbled onto the set of the Three Stooges movie. Well, at least we can cut Thiago Silva some slack. After all, he's practically a Chelsea legend. But as for Buddy Ashil, let's just say he's got some explaining to do at the next team meeting. It's safe to say that Andre Onana has beef with plastic cups. In a game against Real Madrid, the Cameroonian goalie received a pass from his teammate and tried to boot the ball into the next county. But out of oh, the blue, shit. Onana took a tumble, slipping on the grass. And lo and behold, on the replay lurking behind the goal is the culprit, a mischievous plastic cup lying innocently in the penalty area. The ball collided right into the sneaky cup, launching skyward, leaving Andre swinging into thin air. Looks like Andre Onana had a real cup catastrophe on the field. And now, brace yourselves for something out of the ordinary, a tipsy Lionel Messi. During Barcelona's championship celebration, the team gathered at the stadium, and Messi decided to lighten the mood for his teammates and fans. When asked to give a speech, the wobbly Lionel somehow managed to grab the microphone and stumble forward. So without further ado, let's enjoy the speech of slightly sloshed Leo. <laughs> Fans in the stadium and viewers at home were thrilled, and the Barca players couldn't contain their laughter. It's not every day you see Messi in such high spirits and a talkative mode. We are used to seeing him calm and reserved, but Messi's tipsy version during the championship celebration is truly a sight to behold. This episode can truly be classified as a rare gem, because it's not every day you get to witness a slightly tipsy, okay, let's be honest, a downright drunk Leo. Maybe he should consider adding a few dance moves to his dribbling skills. 
And now let's witness a Superman wannabe goalkeeper, Ben Hamer. Because seriously, how do you explain a goalkeeper taking off like he's auditioning for the Justice League when the ball's already chilling in the net? The opponent headed the ball towards Watford's goal, and it was like witnessing a comedy show in real life. Ben went for a leap of faith, hoping for a miracle save, but ended up with a flight to nowhere. Perhaps Ben Hamer took goalkeeping to new heights a bit too literally. Old man Jurgen Klopp loves to entertain fans. And on January 1st, after the game against Newcastle, the Liverpool coach once again amused everybody in the stadium except for one person, his wife. Jurgen followed the classic routine thanking the Liverpool fans for their support. But then everyone noticed that the coach began searching for something on the field. He approached the stadium steward and together they started scanning the ground for something. Have you guessed what Jurgen lost? Finally, the cameraman called Klopp and pointed to the object lying on the ground. Grass. Old man Jurgen joyfully ran to the guy and finally picked up what he had been desperately searching for. It turned out that the coach had lost his wedding ring. If you look closely, you can even see in one of the replays how it slipped off Jurgen's finger. In short, Klopp found the ring and kissed it right in front of the cameras. And then he thanked the attentive cameraman. Klopp had a ringside adventure on the field. If he hadn't found the ring, he probably would have had to spend the night at Anfield, because otherwise his wife wouldn't let him come home. And now get ready for a cringe-worthy stunt. Maldes player Vatan Berisha caught his opponent off guard with a blunder, then maneuvered past the goalkeeper. The goal was gaping wide open, just begging to be filled in, but Berisha thought he would spice things up by going for a heel shot. Well, guess what? The ball ended up hitting his own left leg instead, swerving away from the goal. The poor guy promptly flopped to the ground while the ball rolled off-field. Berisha looked utterly disappointed, probably blaming his left leg for not wanting to cooperate. At least now he knows his left foot is more for kicking himself while he's dumb. Women's football is like a masterpiece painted with a different brush. And during one of the games, the ladies once again entertained all the fans with their unique style. After a player from the Moroccan national team crossed the ball, the goalkeeper of the opponents, Khalid Leili, caught it in her hands. Well, what happened next, you better see for yourself. It's a comedic gem in the world of football. If you didn't quite catch it, the thing is, Leili placed the ball on the line, but technically she only could do that if the ball goes out or there is an attacking fall. And none of that happened. But we can certainly applaud the Moroccan player who seized the moment and scored the easiest goal of her career. In short, it's one of the funniest games in football history. That day, the Moroccan team won 11-0 in that Women's Youth World Cup qualifying game. Let's move to Paraguay, where a football player was about to experience a double whammy of failure. First, our unlucky guy couldn't find the net with an open goal from just a few meters away. He was so devastated that he clutched onto the crossbar for dear life. Ow. But the fate had other plans. He slipped and took a tumble onto the grass. Maybe next time he should try aiming for the goal and not the ground. It's like he's playing the game of how not to score. In Brazil, during the game between Bahia and Flamengo, a new football rule was invented. Whoever hits the ball automatically loses the game. How else can you explain the number 28 failing to hit nope. the ball twice, seemingly ending the attack, only for the opponent to do the same? Nope. The defender missed the ball while trying to clear it away. As a result, the attack continued and the ball ended up at the feet of number 9, who elegantly turned, aimed to shoot, nope. and similarly missed the ball, after which he dramatically fell onto the ground. It's like they were auditioning for a comedy skit rather than playing football. Maybe there is a secret force field around the ball, repelling their kicks like it's a game of cost make football. Now let's discover the biggest nightmare for the former Manchester United goalkeeper David De Gea. And of course it's our dearly beloved Harry Maguire, who's playing pretty decent now. But that's now. Whereas in the previous season, De Gea nearly checked himself into a psychiatric clinic because of Harry's antics. Let's rewind to the game against Atletico. Harry Maguire, in a moment of delusional grandeur, decided to flaunt what he believed to be messy level dribbling skills, zigzagging across the field just a mere 10 meters away from Man United's goal. The poor lad realized he wasn't quite the messy he thought he was, and promptly passed the ball to De Gea, who in his valiant attempt to keep his cool, barely managed to boot the ball out of the devil's penalty area. Lo and behold, the ball found its way to an Atletico player, who took a shot and nearly gave De Gea a heart attack. Thankfully, David miraculously managed to save face and catch the ball. Oh, God, please, no!
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not hit the subscribe button and ring the bell? Not only you will make our day, but you'll also be the VIP of our channel getting all the latest uploads before anyone else. That's all from me for now, and stick around for more awesome content coming your way right now.